Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Tiny Town Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 by Deligracy and a link to her channel and the rules will be in the description below. So we're just continuing with Opal and I have built Opal's castle. So this was a little bit difficult actually because there's not very much in the game in the way of purple. So what I went with was a stone base in purple accents. So I really like how this turned out. And we're trying to keep with the gothic theme and vintage and storybook. But unfortunately, most of the crystal creation stuff uh, does not fall into that category for some reason. I think it should, so I went ahead and used a lot of stuff from that pack, even though it didn't go with Opal's style preferences in build mode. So here is the living room where none of the TVs are classified as vintage, but um, this one definitely is vintage. Maybe it's just shabby, but I'm going to consider it vintage. So she has a tiny little living room over here and then she has a tiny little office space over here. And unfortunately, with the way the castle is set up, there's this huge staircase in the middle and it takes up most of the room. But that's okay, I got to use the chandelier. And so we also have a dining room tucked in back here in one of the other turrets. And then we have a galley kitchen behind the staircase and also downstairs we have a bathroom and we have the nice looking tub oh i put the water heater in here and then we have a towel rack a toilet and a sink moving on upstairs so this is the hallway area again it takes up a huge amount of space and so the bedrooms are very small but that's okay because this is supposed to be a tiny town. So this is Opal's room. It's actually just a small hallway and the bed is taking up the entire room. So yeah, the, the um, circle ceilings, I wish they would fix that, but unfortunately I cannot put tiles on the circle ceiling, but I just couldn't do a castle without circle walls. So we have the bed here and some curtains and some bug lights, but that's about it. And then we have a dresser in the little hallway area leading out from the bed. And then this is going to be the baby's room. We haven't had any babies yet. We haven't even married Opal off to anyone. So this is a work in progress. I just put all the bassinets in there because the vampire bassinets are actually her preferred style and they're the only bassinet that comes in that deep purple that I love. So if we go across the hall, there are two other rooms in the upstairs floor. So Opal's suite takes up an entire side of the floor, but then the other side of the floor has two separate bedrooms, but they're a lot smaller since they only exist in the turret space. And I put the bunk bed or loft bed in here because eventually this will be a child and teens room when they move out of the bassinet area but for right now they're just guest rooms and they don't have very much in them i did put a desk in this one to show how it will eventually be set up but i might only have room for a small dresser and that's about it in these rooms now back in Opal's room, there is this ladder that leads to the outside. And up here, I have some crystals that I have enlarged just for decoration. And yeah, a lot of them are probably not the right color, but I thought that I would add a little bit of a splash of color with this one. And we have a yoga mat, a meditation stool, and then the crystal charging grit. Now I'm probably going to put the crystal charging grid on some kind of table up here and decorate it pretty nice, but this is what I have so far. And unfortunately, I have run out of money. So we're going to have a yard sale and sell our jet gem-shaped gnome. Okay, that was quick. We have 10,000 simoleons. Now we can cut some more gems. 
the first thing that I need to do is make sure that she makes one that she can sell. And then I'm going to make a whole bunch of purple gnomes to put in her castle. Okay, I absolutely love these gothic earrings. I used a purple metal, but the blue crystal is to keep her from burning out. I did have a bracelet that was supposed to keep her from burning out as much with mental skills, but I completely forgot that it was for her to wear and I sold it. So I made another one of these so that she doesn't get burned out as much. And Opal is also going to be neat because I keep mopping the floor in order to get focused because vacuuming actually gives you this plus two focused buff and it's the easiest way to get focused. Even though it only lasts for two hours, you only have to vacuum or in my case mop since I have the mop the dust mod for a second and then cancel the interaction and go back to whatever else you were doing. Oh, and of course we have the welcome wagon because I had to move everyone out and back in again. I'm going to allow the welcome wagon every week because basically what that is, is neighbors just coming over to say hello. Okay, I don't think Opal likes the fruitcake and she's a health food nut, so I'm going to call everyone to meal. So hopefully they'll eat it and she won't have to. Yeah, she... Oh, wait, she likes fruitcake, but she doesn't like it because she's a health food nut. Why doesn't everyone else go and get a piece? I guess only Cecilia wanted one. Okay, well, we'll put it in the refrigerator. Oh, it looked like they were going to go get a piece and I just took it away from them. Okay, that's just adorable. I have these giant gnome statues outside her door. I might make a couple more for the garden, but the garden is all already so full. I wanted to incorporate a lot of purple and there's tons of debug plants that are just perfect. So I couldn't pick just one. We have a necklace and a gnome. So we're going to try and sell those now. Oh, and that was super quick. I don't know why sometimes it's just super quick to sell things and other times it seems like they won't sell. Maybe it does have to do something with my skill because I am level 10 in jewel crafting now. I'm now going to make some backup earrings because I need to have one pair of earrings I can leave on the charging table and then another pair of earrings that I will be wearing. Oh, Bill wants us to go out on a date um, to a retail store. Okay, sure, why not? Now, I haven't married Bill yet because I was waiting for him to get a job. So let's ask him about his career and see if he actually got it. And I can't. Did you get a job? I, I told you to get a job. You're still unemployed. Okay, well, maybe we'll ha ask him to be our boyfriend. He hasn't asked us yet, but that's okay. We can ask him. Okay, we'll have the famous talk about marriage talk and see if Bill is into it. Well, he seemed kind of positive. Okay, we'll ask him to pursue his dream job. I don't really want to pick a career for him. I want him to have his career already. But hopefully it's something that fits his personality traits. I don't like when the game just does random stuff. Okay, so he doesn't want to get a new job. But we've already talked to you about getting a new job. Maybe you're already in the middle of doing that and so the game doesn't want to do it again? Oh, he's lying about his career. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, I didn't have a lot of Sims breaking into my conversation. I had one person break into my conversation and then I was going to introduce myself and then they just dropped out of my conversation. So I think maybe they've done that update already because it seems like that person dropped out for no reason. What is Bill doing here so late? I didn't choose to bring him back from our date. 
He just randomly showed up for no reason. Well, since Belle has decided to stay the night, maybe we'll have a little woohoo. And now he says he needs to get going. Well, that was rude. Okay, we'll help Cypress with the cleaning while he fixes the washer. I couldn't figure out what was making the puddles, and then I noticed the washer is broken. Okay, he finally got a job. Let's see what job he got. It didn't tell me. It's supposed to tell me. Oh, it still says he's unemployed. What? He's not unemployed. He got a job. What job did he get? Okay, it, she clapped her hands. So, was it just delayed? No, it still says he's unemployed. Well, we'll have to talk to him after we're done making this and see if he actually got a job. If he did not, I'm going to assign him a job because we had this conversation on the phone where we told him to pursue his dream job and he never called us back. Then he asked us out on a date and we asked him to pursue a job and he said he wasn't in the mood right now. And I think it was because he was already thinking about getting a job. And then he told us he got a job and I don't see that he has a job. That's a little bit of a glitch. Maybe I glitched it because I asked him to pursue a job when he was already doing it. And why is our rent only 57 simoleons? I swear I raised the rent on Opal and her rent was supposed to be much higher than that. Sometimes this is so glitched. Oh yeah, and I did hire a gardener. That's good because I'm going to have to keep a gardener from now on because these crystal trees tend to die so easily. And if I'm not playing Opal, then they still count as being in the area since they're not inside, they're outside. So even though I've made this lot part of her area, they will still die just like these on this porch for frank does see it says that i travel if i go here but i can actually just interact with these plants directly without traveling to frank's place cypress you didn't finish fixing the washing machine oh no i don't want to switch i always do that i accidentally pick call property owner and switch no i just want him to visit Okay, Cypress, either you fix that washing machine or I'm going to have to call another repairman. It's kind of annoying that washing machines have to be fixed with their electronics first and then their plumbing. It's like, why do you have to fix it twice? Okay, Amber, Sim will not fail at a range of interactions. Sim will not start a fire when cooking and the weather will become sunny. Um, that one is one I haven't seen before. It's worth 437 simoleons. And this would be perfect for Beatrice. I'm going to make it because she won't start a fire when cooking is kind of awesome. But then again, I'm getting rid of the cursed lot trait right now. So I'm not sure how helpful this will be actually. Maybe I'll actually use it for Opal so that she can cook one time before we have Beatrice come and get rid of the grody lot treat. Okay, I just reloaded my game to see if it was a glitch. And Bill is now a secret agent. And that's just perfect. He's jealous, nosy, and self-absorbed. So he's a secret agent. I love that for him. Yeah, Cypress, you didn't fix that washing machine, or if you did, it broke again. Can you fix it, please? If he doesn't fix it, I'm just going to call a repairman, because this is ridiculous. I don't like the unclean surroundings, and he's not fixing it. All right, it didn't get fixed. I think maybe it's just bugged. Okay, the repair service was able to repair the washing machine. All right, fine, Cypress. You won't have to do the plumbing on the washing machine. For some reason, after he repairs the electronics, it doesn't get fixed. He doesn't repair the plumbing, even if he tries again. All right, I have four gnomes. How much are these going to get me? Only one left. Better get them while they're hot. Oh, never mind. There's two. Okay, 
never mind, there's one. It just took a really long time for that one to disappear. Okay, that's it. They're all gone. What? Bill decided not to go out on a date with us? Uh, and yeah, she's going to go shower in the rain. Um, yeah, I forget she's erratic. But why? How? He is Max, relationship, romance, everything. And he's our boyfriend. Is he at work right now? No, he's not at work. That is not acceptable. Well, he's supposedly right here. And I see his little splashes in the rain. But he's not there. Why is the game being so weird? Is Bill being a secret agent? He's on a secret mission. And he didn't want to go on a date with us because he's doing some sneaking around. I don't know where he is, but I see his little feet splashing. Okay, I wonder what happens when you absorb the energy from an item. This one will hopefully make it sunny because it's always raining here and that's annoying. Okay, it drained the earrings and then gave her a buff that says... Opal feels sparkling, radiant, alive. There's nothing like a big sip of crystal energy to start the day or to fuel a night-long stargazing session. I have no idea what it does. <laughs> it's obviously not making it sunny. Well, I guess we'll ask Bill on a date again. Okay, I know it's pouring down rain, but let's try proposing. And Opal is proposing to Bill. And what do you say, Bill? Okay, I was worried that he might say no. And in tiny town tr tradition, we're just going to elope immediately. And it's pouring down rain outside, so it's not the most romantic of moods. But it's kind of cute that they get married on a date. And Opal is saying her vows. And we get all of the good feelings. And here's the ring. You know, I should have made a ring for him instead, but I did not think about that. Oh well. Okay, so Bill is self-absorbed, nosy, quick learner, and jealous. And we know that he has that job as a secret agent, but he's only a level one. Okay, so he's not really going to make that much money. That's fine. And oh, he wants to be a master vampire. Uh, did I know that before? Uh, if I did, I kind of forgot. Well, <laughs> that, that is annoying. He wants to be a vampire, but I guess that kind of fits Opal's vibe. I mean, she's living in this castle. I don't see a problem with making him a vampire, but I'm not so sure I would want his kids to be a vampire. Now, we did woohoo on the date, so let's just see, is Opal pregnant already, or should we get her pregnant before Bill becomes a vampire? No, she's not pregnant. Yeah, I have risky woohoo on, but it's, it's like 1%. It's slim chances. So let's go ahead and try for baby. Okay, are we pregnant this time? Yes, we're pregnant. All right, so Bill, what do you need to do for your job? You need to browse intelligence, but you have work in four hours and you're kind of tired. So why don't you just go to sleep? I'm not going to worry too much about getting him promoted. Although I do have the crystal, so we're going to give him some crystal power while he's working on his browsing intelligence. <laughs> That'll work. I got two Blumbites from the harvest this morning for the crystal trees. So I'm going to make a bracelet for Beatrice and probably something for Ziggy because I think Beatrice and Ziggy are going to have more of a hard time than the others for making money. So I think that they deserve to not have to sleep. Otherwise, I'm going to have to play them for more than one week each because sleeping at night is definitely a downside. 
Okay, we're also going to make Ziggy a bracelet for his creative skills so that he won't burn out on them and also learn them faster. Okay, we've come to Forgotten Hollow to try and find someone to make Bill a vampire. And I wasn't able to see that Vlad was anywhere in Forgotten Hollow, but we found Lilith. I think she's a vampire. At least, hopefully she is. In my game, I'm importing townies, so she might not be Lilith the vampire. Okay, she is a vampire. There is an option to ask her to turn me into one. So, say, Lilith, why don't you turn me into a vampire? That is my aspiration, after all. And there she goes. Okay, so we're going to turn him into a vampire, but we won't have to deal with him being a vampire for very long, because it's already Wednesday, and it's late. So maybe he'll turn into a vampire right as we're getting done with this family, which will probably be the best. Okay, Bill, you're on your way to becoming a vampire. Now let's go home. Letitia calls, saying she wants to try for another baby. Um, they already have three kids, and that house is super small. Ah, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm going to say try for that baby, but it's going to be really tough for them to fit everyone in that small little house. Theirs is unfortunately the smallest house. Well, Opal is no longer outdoorsy, but that's fine. She got that because she was sleeping in the treehouse every night. So we're trying to get rid of our mental fog. I kind of forgot to switch out her earrings. So she got dazed when she was making so many gems. Oh, we have some kind of earthquake or volcanic bomb. Well, it looks like an earthquake because I don't see any volcanic rocks oh plumbite awesome okay so bill got promoted well this one is a volcanic bomb okay at least it looks like she was worried about a volcano okay yeah it is and i don't see any rocks oh there's one okay well, it only appeared on Opal's lot. It didn't appear in the general area or on anybody else's lot. So that's nice. And Bill is transforming into a vampire. Okay, we may have to give his dark form a makeover. <laughs> And I see that vampires are once again left out of any needs cheat for their thirst. So basically the plum bite does not restore thirst for a vampire and it does not restore energy for a vampire. So yeah, not that great. Well, technically, we have enough to do anything we want with our house. We have about 40,000 simoleons. But I want to make sure that she has enough for her future modifications when her children grow up. So I don't know how many children she's going to have. And I also don't know what I want to do with her castle if she has more than two. All right, we have almost 80,000 simoleons. Oh, Lilith is here. We should invite her in because we actually need to participate in vampire training. Oh no, we have a cursed book. Where is the book? I don't see it. And if I don't find it, unfortunately, it starts random fires. Someone pranked the toilet. That's wonderful. Okay, there's an earthquake. Or a volcanic bomb. And there they go. Well, maybe I can invite the property owner over. Because sometimes they can find it. But I'm not seeing it anywhere. Okay, let's see if Cypress can find it. It's said that he's here to fix all that is wrong. And Opal's gone into labor! Okay, well, while Cypress is looking around and doesn't look like he's having too much luck, 
it might be that the cursed book is just not here. Because that does happen a lot. Let's see. Should we have the babies at home or go to the hospital? I think we're just going to have them at home. Makes it easier. And Opal is having her babies. Or baby, I don't know. Okay, it's a boy. And I guess we'll go with Dax. Dax isn't bad. Just one baby. Well, that makes it easy. Opal's living in a castle and she only has one baby. Cypress has three and probably more on the way and lives in a little shack. Okay, we can get rid of all these bassinets now. Um, actually, no, we can't. Stupid event. All right, if I don't find the book, I'm just going to say we're going to end the event. Because sometimes this happens where the book is just nowhere. It, it might be hidden under some furniture. But I have had the case where I've actually gone into build mode from Manage Worlds and I moved all of the furniture and I could not find the book. And so if I don't see the book, I basically say we're not going to deal with this because one, it'll start fires. And two, I can't go into build mode. Yeah, I don't see it. Okay, well, since I can't find it, just either pick destroy the curse book or mail away the curse book if you have UI cheats. You can just right click on one of these and it just makes the event go away. Hopefully this baby is not a vampire because I know that Bill was not a vampire when they tried for baby but see the way that the babies work is when they get their traits from their parents it's done at birth not at conception i think at conception it determines whether or not it's a boy or a girl and also how many babies you're going to have but you can change the gender by eating strawberries for a girl or eating carrots for a boy and also listening to pop music for a girl and alternative music for a boy but i've never really been able to make those work I do know that eating strawberries works because I've actually used that within C Command Center and you can check the baby's gender and I can see that the baby's gender is a boy. And then after eating somewhere between one and three strawberries, it changes to a girl. It's random as to whether or not it actually changes, but the odds are pretty high the more strawberries that you eat. And I usually find that no more than three strawberries is required to make the baby a girl. Well, we can't socialize with a newborn, apparently, but that's okay. Okay, this actually works out good, because if we only have one child, then Bill's coffin can be in this room. And then the kid can live in this room once they get to be a child. And we'll have this room for the infant and newborn and maybe the toddler stage and then we'll turn this into some kind of wardrobe for opal once the toddler moves into their own room as a child but right now this will just be the office with the computer oh look it's aspen he's a child now we might have to introduce ourselves the first children of Tiny Town. Oh, that's so cute. Of course, that means we need to go back to Cypress's house and redo that bedroom for children, which shouldn't be too difficult because I got bunk beds and they can have a set of bunk beds and then one bed by itself, which would be a loft bed that we could put a dresser underneath. Well, Opal's really finished everything that she needed to do now. She has her spare money, almost 80,000 simoleons. She has her child, and she's finished building her house and finished with her gemology aspiration. I gave her the big happy family aspiration, but she's really not going to make very much progress on that. This is her last day. So maybe we'll go around and have a neighborhood potluck with all of the neighbors. 
No, we're not going to the romance festival with you, Cyprus. Okay, here's Oak. And then where is the last one? We know Aspen. We know Oak. And I forget what is the last boy's name. Forest. Where is Forest? Well, he's not at home. Okay, there he is. I had to summon him with MC Command Center. I'm not sure where he was, but he should be at home. It's Saturday. Okay, now we go to Frank Stem's house. And we have little Randall, who's a toddler. I'm not sure if the toddlers will be able to be invited to the party, but I think I have a mod that lets me invite anyone. And the other toddler is Aelin. She's so cute in her little bee outfit. Maybe we'll have a baby shower instead because we just had a baby. I mean, a potluck would be nice, but I think maybe a baby shower is more appropriate. We'll even invite Lilith. I'm not sure why, but Bill keeps being jealous. And I think it's because Opal is flirty, but she's flirty because Bill is around. And then she maybe flirted with someone that... I don't know, maybe Lilith is actually flirty. Well, anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.